Mrs. Noble, good afternoon and welcome to a conversation about what an amazing term. What an amazing term. So much has happened. So much inspiration, so much joy, so much hard work from, from all levels. And there's so many things I want to talk to you about. And I want to really start with our, our great achievements. And of course, we're a school, so we have to start with our academic results uh, in August that we received. Tell me about that. Well, it seems quite a far way uh, away now, isn't yeah, it, August? Because exactly. this term has been incredibly long. It's always yeah. difficult to get through. But so much is achieved in this first term and what achievements that we've had in school. And like you said, we start with the most amazing results that we had back in August when we get our IGCSE and A-level results. It's always a great way to start a new academic year by celebrating the success that these students yeah. have. And it is down to our students and the success they bring to our school and the recognition we like to give them for that. But I think the most important thing that they give themselves is the fact that they launch themselves onto amazing university courses around the world yes. and our students have gone all around the world this year onto some fantastic courses and one of the things I did look at this year is what are the sort of courses that they're going on and where are they going and it's incredibly varied but I think in the last few bu bulletins we've been trying to tell our parents where students um, go to and the emerging trends is that of ICT and computers mm. and the number of students that are actually taking up computer programming and um, just ICT in general as a career mm. and hopefully that we can support them and um, they have moved into some fantastic um, career areas. Cool, uh, areas fantastic courses yeah but also not just around uh, classroom work and education like that. We've had so many highs, so many achievements around sport and individual achievements um, in different areas around art. We've had conversations around there. Uh, we're sitting here in front of <laughs> our amazing sport uh, achievements. Um, and it's so inspiring. We've created inspiration, I feel. Um, over this term and going forward around our, our vision is creating inspiration. Mm -hmm. Our students inspire me. I'm yes. sure they inspire many in our community. What they can achieve and what they have done far surpasses what I ever achieved at school. And I think when we look at the generation coming through, they do indeed inspire us and they motivate us to give of our best as yes. well. And what we try and provide at Baobab is of course a solid grounding and a good education which traditionally is your academics but that's only one of the things we try and do. Um, to have a good foundation to move on to later stages in your life it's not just about academics. As you mentioned it's about sports and sports is valuable to us because it teaches us other things on the field of play that we wouldn't get from the classroom about how to lose and how to win how to be part of a team, how to commit to something and see it through, and how training and hard work leads to rewards. And like you say, we're sitting here in front of some of the amazing awards that we have won this year from Baobab College with our sporting achievement. But not just about the rewards, it's about the participation and that all of our children are involved in sports, even if they're not in some of our top level teams. They are out there doing physical education involve themselves in activities in the afternoon and a wide range of things on offer. This year we've brought in the gymnastics yes. that they're allowed to do now which they love. We've brought in cricket as a more prominent sport and we continue to work on trying to make cricket um, uh, to elevate that in our school. Um, we have also have we also have um, things like karate yes. and other sports so that they have um, a variety. wide variety and yes. of course chess as well, Model United Nations, we have other activities that are not sporting. So this leads us on to the third thing that we try and do as well as academics and sports, it's giving them opportunities um, to do activities that broaden themselves outside of the classroom. And I think the other two areas I'd like to touch on again is the importance of well-being and yes. mental health which we've had um, a great sort of emphasis on this term that students should recognise where they are and what support that they need and it's part of growing up so we try and support them with that and the good values and behaviour that comes with that as well. Fantastic mm. but also you know you've spoken about all of that it can't be done without the core, the core, the, the teachers, the staff 
tell us a little bit more about that. Absolutely. A variety. The students are like the fruit that is produced of the tree. If we think of the baobab tree as our analogy, the tree itself is the staff is the community in this school, the amazing staff body that we have. They're very diverse from many countries yes. around the world, incredibly talented, well-educated themselves and highly experienced. And it's our teachers that dedicate all of their time to our students. Each and every one of them is important to us. Uh, I'd like to publicly thank them for all of the work that they do um, for providing this wonderful education for our children. So the teachers absolutely are the core of what we do here. Mrs Noble, earlier in the year we had talked about our vision for the future mm -hmm. and I, I, your vision is, the vision of the school is, is very strong and I believe it's getting stronger every day. Mm -hmm. Would you just like to tell me a little bit more about that vision, where we're going mm -hmm. with it? Sure. It's always about taking the best of the past and marrying it with what we believe is the best in the future. That's quite a hard thing to do because there's a lot of change happening right now in the world of education. I think everyone will appreciate and understand that in these last few years, our industry has been revolutionized really. Um, not only with the changes that has come in with technology, but the way in which we actually teach and the emphasis on learning in the classroom. At Baobab, we have a very strong vision for the future. But before I talk about the future, I just want to talk a little bit about the past, because the very best of the past is what we carry with us into the future. And it's important that we don't let go of those things that we hold dear to. We are very traditional in certain ways, and we believe in high standards of discipline. We believe in strong values education. None of these things we will ever let go, but the industry itself has changed remarkably from the time I've been at school, and from the time perhaps some of our students who were here even just five years ago, the industry has changed. There's far more technology in teaching and learning now, and again, the emphasis on really strong learning as much as it is about teaching, it's about learning in the classroom and really providing inspirational education and opportunities for our students. We offer such a broad range of subjects within our senior school for students to do at examinations, for example. This is really sitting well with um, trends in education that students have a wide variety of subjects to choose from so that they follow their passion and they follow what they're good at and what they want to do in future life. And I think some of the change that is coming next year is that our IGCSE programme will actually be over three years now rather than over two. That's a big change in which we are transitioning into. I believe it will make a very strong foundation for those exam years for our students as well as um, bringing the middle school fully online next year. So these are the, some of the short-term visions that are playing out this year and next year. But going further than that, it's continuing to keep up with what are the trends in education? Where does Baobab need to be as a leader in education in this country? Where are we going? But taking the very best of what we have already and moving it into the future and doing that in a way that inspires our students and produces an inspirational education for them. What would you say to the community, our parents, and it's beyond our parents, it's beyond mm. just parents, it's the community. Mm. What would you say to them mm. today as we finish a fantastic term, okay. looking forward to a, 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 you know, a fantastic year, what would you say to them today? <laughs> Well, in a nutshell, it's to say thank you. Thank you so much for your trust in us. You give us your children during the school day and thank you for your trust in letting us educate them and provide them with the opportunities that they have and for being part of our community because we said that our students are part of our community, our teachers are a valued part of our community and of course that third part of the triangle are our parents and they form a very, very special place within the community of Baobab. And I'm sure you have one last sentence and wishing everybody a restful. <laughs> it is, and it is at this time of year that everyone is breathing a sigh of relief, not only our teachers and our students, but our parents as well. We've come to the end of an incredibly long term, 16 weeks, and it's wonderful to end the term at such a festive time of year, because we come up to Christmas, 
a time of celebration and joy and rest for everyone around the world. And that's what we wish our Baobab community, a time of great joy, a time in which you can spend with your family. We wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas. Thank you.